here we are back on Bubba's YouTube channel talking Dollywood big news from the pamphlet that uh, a lot of people got in the mail talking about the I will always love you festival which is 50 years from Dolly's major hit I will always love you celebrating 50 years of writing the song I guess is what it is yeah but not the Whitney Houston version 50 years. Hers was 50 years ago. So. Yeah, and it was actually recorded in 73 and released in 74. So I'm kind of surprised they didn't wait till next year. And they could have done the Jolene Festival this year, but I don't guess they did that. But celebrated every year, I guess. Just call it a Dolly Festival next year. Yeah, it just changed. Yep. Um, we'll go over several things. There is, uh, with this festival, the, there's a pink sky this is a celebration, not a festival. So, but everybody's calling. It. Dig into that, whatever that means. <laughs> Which means no tasting pass. Ah, uh, get out of that. They will have snacks, merchandise. There is construction still going on because the bear, big bear, will not be open, and there's other minor changes as well. Yeah, and we're not going to go over all the yeah. construction uh, updates because by the time you see this, most people already be there. But um, a couple of the real quick big changes, the Christmas shop, is, there's no major changes. What used to be the Christmas shop has now been rethemed to a Dolly musical for her stuff and they've redid some of the stronger areas and knocked some of that stuff down but there's other areas you can other places you can go to to, to read about there's other things watch. people think might be happening too that just haven't been like confirmed either, yeah but so. overall and and something know, about the parking and the entrance and this and that theater but that's another rumor yeah about that, so. there's some parking stuff going on but we're not gonna we but the songwriters uh showcased during this festival uh headlined by as a singer songwriter and celebrity festival i guess headlined Lined by several big name celebrities. Natalie Grant, March the 11th, which is the contemporary Christian artist, has been around a long time. Ricky Skaggs, bluegrass legend, March 18th. Joe D. Messina, March 25th, country music from, I guess I'd say the 90s and 2000s, I guess. I, I remember the Gatlin Brothers, country music legends, I guess you could say. And Laura and Elena from our neck of the woods. Lafayette. Lafayette, Ringgold, North Georgia. So. And um, those are all on Saturdays. Um, mm. You know, they got a, a... Do you pay to go to these people? Uh, they are free. They're yeah. included. Um, you do, they're, they did today. They announced it. they confusing. On certain shows, you can reserve your seat. But I think it's just for the 1 o'clock show and not every show. So mm. go online and you can reserve your spot. But those are just on Saturdays. Yep. And it, and I think for the reserving, you have to be gold and diamond only. Yeah. Um, uh, but I have seen several of these in concert. Um, Natalie Grant, like he said, is more the the um, contemporary Christian art. She's one of the bigger names in that genre. Uh, um, I saw Might Richard's, have the best voice of the whole group that everybody yeah, there, um, as far as I, vocal talents. Yeah. Yeah, and I've not seen her before, but um, I have saw Ricky Skagg before, saw him last year. I actually got front row seats to see him, and um, he's Looking really good. Get. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's good. He does, you know, m most people know him for his country music, but he does do a lot of bluegrass as well, so he'll do, he'll do kind of a door show, country and bluegrass. He won't talk a ton. He's not a huge talker, but he has got a very talented um group all right um the, the other songwriters that are not going to a lot of you don't know because heck i don't know so most of the general public and oh, normal I, people i wasn't done talking about larry gatlin <laughs> no we're we're moving on <laughs> we're trying to speed this up the biggest names from the songwriters would be dean dylan which you don't know who that is but that's wrote a lot of songs over 50 songs for george Strait. big hits include oceanfront property in the chair and such and such yeah, big I mean, name songwriter like uh, dean dylan is as He's basically, if you've heard George Strait, you've heard Dean Dillon songs. I mean, you might I not can, know him. I uh, could go on forever, but yeah. I've been told I have to. Larry so. Larry Cordell, who is also a television star. Well, he, he's been on RFT TV yeah. a lot. And he wrote one of my personal all-time favorite songs by Alan Jackson and George Strait called Murder on Music Row. Um, Buddy Jewel, not Richard Jewel, the Atlanta Bomber guy. So I'm yeah, just confused I, on that. I informed him that um, I, I don't think Richard Jewel was going to be saying <laughs> Uh, other than that, um, it's a short, short celebration, not a long festival. There is a, on Janelle Arthur on March 14th and 15th is going to be there. She was on American Idol. She was on the, um, 12th year number five. On I've watched every season, Idol. but I have no clue who that is. Um, 
and you know, so I, um, we're not going to go over every yeah, songwriter yeah. because I've been told that nobody wants. Nobody to wants that, to hear that. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, those are some of the highlights. Uh, Buddy Joy is a name I think a lot of people will be familiar with. He had a single years ago. Yeah, nineties probably. And um, you know, like the Gary Burr on the April first and second is a former songwriter of the year. And some things like that, but um, we're not going to do the whole list. <laughs> we're, not, we're not going to do the whole list. We're also not going to say how Larry Gatlin is very entertaining and will put on a good show and and make you laugh. If and, you you know, uh, this festival lasts a few weeks, I think, maybe five weeks, something yeah, like that. Yeah, it ends, I think, the first couple of days of April. Yeah, then you have the food, flower, and festival or whatever. Yeah, you know, so. but yeah, yeah, Ding Dillon is the big one, but unfortunately, that is on a Wednesday, and a lot of these bigger names somewhere are on a Wednesday, which may be on purpose, but um, but I do think it's going to be more of kind of like a Bluebird Cafe type show, because there is at least two in there, so typically songwriters, you don't know their names, but they're entertaining and they tell good stories. They probably, they're not going to have the best voices in the world, but um, they will be entertaining and tell good stories and it'll be a good show. So definitely go check it out. Any, what else you got to add? Nope, I'm done. Um, and, you know, I, I will be there Friday at the park. I'll, I'll be getting there, getting up about 5 o'clock in the morning, getting there Friday. You will be signing autographs after the Dolly event. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ho ho hoping Dolly gives a shout out to the channel. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, the weather, Highly unlikely. The, weather, the, weather, the weather holds up, and I'll also be there for some no, Sunday as well. Nope. Mm. <laughs> All right. We're out. That's it.